Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for our very first guest to be with us in the studio. She's here already. And we're looking at something really, really important. We're looking at youth engagement and capacity building. Now, our guest is no, she's really the perfect person to look at this. More importantly, in the time where we're looking at politics and leadership and talking more about inclusion of young people, we're very, very concerned with the fact that they need to be caught very young and started really early. In the days when we are pushing for the not too young to wrong bill, we'd like to see more young people being involved. Wow. Now, our guest today is a graduate of mass communication with a major in advertising and an alumni of the prestigious London College of Fashion. She's also a corporate event host with a diploma in presentation from the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. She's the CEO of Luster Consulting Limited, a soft skills and capacity development training company that helps professionals, individuals and business owners achieve personal and professional goals, which reflects positively on their total brand image. She also is involved in the Starting Young Club and Finishing School arm of Luster Consulting Limited, which caters to the younger generation through its various skills development and mentoring schemes, as well as opportunists, as well as internship opportunities. Now, our guest today is Enajite Oweibo. Thank you very much Thank for joining us. Thank you for us. having me. I'm glad to be you here. You have a very, very full and very interesting profile, and I like what <laughs> you do. Why did you decide to focus on soft skills? Okay, because thank you very much for that question. So I realized that um, more emphasis has been laid on technical skills than on soft skills. And recently, Stanford University and some other universities, top universities abroad, did um, a research on job success. Um, and they discovered that about 85% of job success is dependent on soft skills. Soft skills like your relational skills. How do you relate with people? How do you influence people to get the job done? Because one of the things they said is that you, you don't do the job by yourself. You have to work with people to get the job True. done. Now, if you're nasty, people won't help you. Or they'll just do it, you know, either way and then get it done and then you get into trouble. So your ability to be able to, you know, influence people, relate with pre people properly, you know, and other, other things that emotional intelligence, managing your emotion, not just bursting out in anger and all that, you know. That was one of the reasons why I said, you know, we have not really paid attention to this in Nigeria. I need to <clears throat> do something about it. I'm currently reading an audio book, 25 Ways to Win with People. I think these books are very important and this very. knowledge is actually very important because Absolutely. as much as possible what we do is always a teamwork yes. you can't win alone you need to win yes. with people so Absolutely. if i were to ask you what are your top three ways to win with people what would you say okay so number one be friendly number one be friendly when if you say you want to be you want to have friends then it means that you need to be a friendly person and then another thing you need to do is care about people people will not care about you until you show that you care about them okay so Ask them personal questions, ask them things about their families, of, you know, as a boss, as a CEO, you can ask your, your subordinate about things about their family. You win them over, giving gifts, hmm. giving gifts, not necessarily something expensive, something little. Oh, I thought about you. Take this. Thank you. You know, a gift could be a thank you, a small thank you card. Thank you for helping me out with that job. Yes, you are paying them. Or yes, you are their boss. But then those are the things that will give you loyalty for life. Wow, very important, given gifts. Even the Christians, their holy book says that the gift of a man will make way Oh, me. definitely. My interpretation of that scripture, usually when I hear it, is not just gift as in talent, but sometimes oh, your yes. physical gift oh, yes. that you take to oh, people. Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, in the course of this journey, what are some of the things that you would say are the most repetitive problems that people have when it comes to soft skills? Or when it comes to, for example, emotional intelligence and managing their emotions, dealing with people, you've worked with companies, you've worked with individuals, you've worked with professionals, and you've worked with young people, you work yes. with young people as well. Yes, I How have. would you say are some of the most repetitive problems that you see? I think one of the, the major issues when it comes to soft skill in Nigeria is critical thinking. Um, the average Nigerian youth um, doesn't really take out time to, you know, think about things critically. So they just go to work, okay, I have a job at the end of the month, the salary comes in. They're not thinking, how do I add value? There's a problem and you take the problem to your boss like that. That's without not, trying to fix it. Without trying to figure it out and say, sir, this is the problem, but this is the solution I've been able to sort out. What do you think? Don't you think this now boils down to our education system? So some people have criticized our education system, stating that what we find is people are taught to learn, cram, 
and pour out whatever right. they're being taught they're being taught in their schools that people are not taught critical thinking a friend of mine gave an example of a young class you know in london he went to he went for a fellowship and he saw that they were taught how to they were taught how to start a business so right. you're in a class you're taught how to start a business you go to the next class you're taught how to market the business you know so they they teach you how to look beyond the surface but we don't really have a lot of that so how can we remedy this okay so the truth is yes our educational system is bad like the curriculum is outdated and we need to upgrade things but then again you owe it to yourself to develop yourself no you owe it because once you develop yourself the knowledge no one can take it from you i went to university in nigeria too i studied mass communication they didn't have obi-van we never went into the studio we never did anything but i was so eager about working on myself that i went i paid money to take courses nigerian most youths don't want to do that they would rather spend it on other things entertainment fashion than to you know spend it on you know actually in, um, investing in their personal development. So yes, education system is bad, but what have you done to improve yourself? So everybody on, needs to understand that they have the responsibility yes. of improving themselves yes. first of all. Yes. How about organizations? What, how can organizations help to improve you know, um, their staff? We find that there are people who have worked in one organization for years and have never gotten any professional training. I understand that it's important for the individual to yes. see why they need to invest in themselves right. first of all right. before any other person can see. But let's talk to the organizations for a minute. Okay, so um, I would also talk to organizations because I've had organizations say, oh, when you train them, they will leave at the end of the day, so no need training them. But at the end of the day, if you think about it, if you're a CEO out there or an HR manager, who are you? Because at the end of the day, you have people who are not high value people, who are not producing anything effective, who are not productive. You're just paying out salaries and you're not getting results. Your business is suffering. At the end of the day, it's more cost effective or more wise for you to invest in training your staff now, for you to just say, oh, I'm not going to train them. So I would advise organizations out there to invest in trainings for their staff. Now, let's go back to the very beginning. You have the finishing arm, the young, um, starting young club and the finishing school arm of your company. And basically, you cater to young people. Yes. How important, you know, first of all, how easy is it hmm. to teach them? Oh, well, I've been doing it. It's easier to teach um, children and um, teenagers than adults. Oh, really? Yes, because they believe everything you say. So that's why you have to be careful, too. So they believe everything you say. And so I've had children go home and say, oh, Miss Jite said this. And so their parents are saying, no, it's not like that. I said, no, but Miss Jite said. So they are still at that stage where they absorb everything. So it's usually, it's still easy to, you know, bend them. And it's, 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 and it's fun. I, I think I, I can totally agree with you because it's often said that the mind of a child is like a tabloid. Right. Like it's a blank right. So you write on the mind of a child right. with the things that you say, the things that Absolutely. you do in front of them, and the things that you teach them. But more importantly, the things that you do in front of right. them. Now Absolutely. we're talking about individuals understanding the need to invest in themselves and do paid courses it's also important for us to express that there are free courses out there yes there are people who don't take um, take hold of this information on the internet we have websites like course era yes. that do free certification courses that people can use to develop themselves so our challenge to you today is go out there go online avail yourself of all the information that is there use it to better yourself and improve yourself and make yourself more marketable right also i i was listening to a friend's um, live stream yesterday they were doing a, a um a consulting session and they were talking okay. about the fact that if you do not see the need to pay money and invest in yourself right. no other person will yes. see the need to pay and invest in you i have an event coming up soon tell us about it okay so um we have an issue with un unemployable graduates in nigeria we all know that people in hr CEOs are complaining. So is it that the, the problem is unemployability or that there, there are no jobs? No, the problem is unemployability, actually. There are jobs. I have someone who is top in the echelons of HR, and she says, they keep, they keep coming to me. I need high-level managers. I need this. I need that. But she said, I can't send anybody out there because they will embarrass me. And I don't want that. Graduates cannot write simple letters. That's a problem. Graduates oh. cannot construct simple grammar. That's so is that what this event is about now? Okay, so mine is about basically soft skills and all the skills that we need to function properly in the corporate world. And for those who want to be entrepreneurs, you know, the skills they would basically need to succeed generally. What are in these life. skills? Okay, skills like critical thinking, 
when you are faced with a problem, do you just stop or you think your way through? Skills like emotional intelligence, skills like teamwork, like you said earlier. Are you able to work with people? Or you are like, oh, I can do it my way. I can do it my way. Okay, we have different different courses under the thing, and our target is for teenagers. Like like I told you, and like you said, they are like fresh cement. They are still in that stage where you can still mold them. They are still impressionable. So we are targeting teenagers so that by the time we take them through this over the years, before they they are graduates. They are already grounded. This is really fantastic. When is this happening? It's happening. It starts July 7th, and then it runs through all the Saturdays in July. So we have personal development courses where they're going to read books and review books, you know, and we are really, it's an intensive training. So anybody that wants to come should better be ready to go through a grilling process. Interesting. What's the age range for the people that can come for this training? Okay, so for this training, we're working with teenagers between the ages of 14 to 18. 14 to yes. 18. Yes. How can people get more information about this? Just check my social media media page gta gtay underscore zero one you would get information or you can check www.lusterconsultinglimited.com luster consulting is l-u-s-t-e-r consulting limited one word dot com all right so all at gtay underscore o one yes please. very very important we need to be able to see the need to invest in ourselves but more importantly we need to start teaching our young people we're going to be clamoring for not too young to run we need to ensure that the people we're putting in power are people that understand um, teamwork emotional intelligence creative thinking and we need to catch them young so if you have kids young people maybe now is the time you need to start investing in building them thank you so much for coming thank in you for GTA. having me i really appreciate it i appreciate it, having you as well i had a fantastic time to enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.